That connection is so fucking powerful. It's that power that is in you. Everyone has it. Yes, you can't debunk it because there's nothing for you to debunk. That's what it's like being an empath. So I was experiencing the thing that Tom was going through. Hey there, my fellow spooky seekers. Welcome to another episode of Paranormal Tuesdays. My name is Ceci or Mia, depending on which alter ego decides to show up. And I'm a psychic witch, medium, clairvoyant, clairaudient. Basically, a uh, jack of all trades when it comes to the paranormal. Like, when it's a Ghostbuster, when you got me, right? Every Tuesday, we sit down and I'm reacting to paranormal investigations. And I'm telling you what I can see, hear, or feel. Or what I feel they're doing right or wrong depending on the investigation and today is something that has been highly recommended both by my sister who got me into them but by you guys as well i've seen all your instagram messages i've seen all your comments here so you've seen the thumbnail we're doing part one of sam and colby's conjuring house um if you know me you know that The Conjuring House is one of the top three that has given me the fucking creeps. Awesome. So, having four parts of this. Yeah. But, let's get to it. Shall we? Grab your popcorn, buckle up. And let's get to it. We had film crews in, but they've never been here like for an entire week. So oh this God. is going to be a new experience. So we're the first to do that. Yeah, but it's awesome. A lot <laughs> happens all the time. People are being touched, their hair is being pulled, oh God. whispering. And so first things first. One, I've been trying to stay away from any spoilers. Two, I know metapsychics have reacted, but I haven't seen anything as i wanted to be like completely raw i get two things um mixed ones um there is ones that i mean they don't really want them there but they will do stuff to keep them protected they're like we don't want to harm you so we're gonna kind of like make sure you're not gonna get harmed but then <laughs> There's the other ones that are like, well, we're gonna fuck you up. You're here again. You didn't understand the first time. Yeah. So I'm getting that. And you know, like the first time we talked about the woman in the dress, um, I'm getting her feeling a lot, but it's the first one where it was like, you know, they will, she will protect them. She will do stuff to help them out and stuff. So, yeah, I'm getting mixed feelings. Um, also, I'm getting feelings about like actual people. Nothing, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with so that. Not with Satori, I like that name. Um, but with that new owner, I'm like, I don't get great vibes from her you know how like managers can be like yeah they sound so nice and internet but then they like are the worst type of people i don't exactly get that from her i just i'm not saying this is bad i'm just saying the feeling i'm getting okay that's it i don't want to get sued <laughs> okay so Let's continue. Wait, do you know which one? Yeah, Abigail Arnold. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm got, we're already we're getting invited. That That's awesome. That's all right. That's all right. We're being so. My sister so was always like, oh, Abigail is the boo. Abigail, Abigail. And I, I've, I've asked her, like, is she the one in the dress? It's like, I don't know. So I'm like, is she the one in the dress? With the flowy dress in the first episodes. Like the first ever country in like a flowy dress. Is she that one? 
because I didn't get bad vibes from her. Just like, yeah, weird because spirit. But I need to know. I mean, I'm only four minutes in, but if it's her, I'm so fucking good. So I'm Jacqueline Nunez. I'm the uh, owner of The Conjuring House. You know, I didn't have any paranormal experience when I bought the house, but I do have a deep dive for years into the spiritual aspect of things. So I'm a big believer that we are spiritual beings having a human experience, that our consciousness survives death. The Conjuring House provides us an opportunity to connect with the consciousness of people that have passed on and that we can engage with and have conversations with them. So that It's not just The Conjuring House like in general you can do that obviously having so many different spirits and entities I'm remembering the thing in the basement um yeah helps out but it just can be like anywhere other than the conjuring house it can be in my fucking room right now that just flickered. You're See, right. That's what I'm saying. I remember when we did the tour last episode, this light was flickering. What I was saying is every single time I walk upstairs, I genuinely feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's happened both times we've been It feels like there is something already like on Sam. Um what the fuck? Um Yeah, he might not be feeling it yet, but I feel like there is something that um is getting to him already um not something good uh from my understanding so far um yeah uh not something good and it's already kind of going in and out and it's targeting Sam for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, I just need to put a fucking necklace. That is my spiritual enhancement, my um, psychic ability enhancement necklace. If I could put it the fuck on, um, I could make for you if you want. Just check the link, the website, in the description, ask for Mia, um, let's continue. Or am, cameras are off, there's no more filming to do, we don't have like the safety or the protection or whatever. Okay. Or am, cameras are off. <laughs> um, there is a boy that is watching Sam. It's not the boy that, uh had the eyes that was not a boy um just an actual boy um he's like not taller than the fireplaces so so yeah because like i'm not <laughs> yeah he he looks like he's around four to five years old and he's just watching him sleep really um he's a bit like weirded out but um he's watching him sleep he's got like it's either brown or like dark brown um black or dark brown hair and it's just like up to like his neck and um I can't see the color of his eyes because he's he's just looking that way, and she's kind of like that. Yeah, it's like that, and um, watching him, and yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see that on this episode, um, but if we do and see more of it, I'll let you know. He lived here a long time ago and now helps protect people from negative entities. It was even See? rumored that this entity would tuck the parent children in bed. No, they said there was going to be an entity. Spirit. Protection. I'm so good. Why? So good. Well, it's only Uncle B. Hey. 
What the fuck? Wait, we're in a house. How is it echoing like that far away? Should I say it? Should I? If you've seen my Hellfire reaction, which if you haven't, check that out. I said that thing followed Colby back. It got attacks on Colby. It left the fucking Hellfire thingy. And it got to Colby. It got to Colby. I wouldn't be surprised if that was it. experiment we found out that uh, eventually over time that when we hold hands or hold wrists it's almost like flipping on a light switch and it kind of draws them in a little closer so we're not mediums or anything we can't sense anything whatever happens everyone is here to witness we can't control it and we only do this for people who cross one one i love that says like a spell jar necklace i don't know what it is but i love that um second they're cute and I see this, you know, like auras, right? They seem to have the same colored aura. And it's like, it's like a yellowish, but it has like pink hues in it. So Colby's, because I can see it now, is like a, a bluish green, right? But they have the same exact. You can have like yellow, but someone else could also have yellow, but it's a different hue. They have the same exact color. Like if we got like a color palette and open the hex code, it would be the same exact hex code. Same exact one. So I'm not surprised that when they are linked up stuff will start happening because they're energetically connected so it's like if you want to put it that way two parts of the universe twin planes they, they say like you were part of the same thing you got um what's the word you got broken apart and now they found each other again and they made each other whole and that is so beautiful and i'm jealous me crying and being single <laughs> you know that is that is so beautiful the way she's looking at him i want someone to look at me like that what the fuck just stomp your feet or hit something as loud as you can so we know you're here okay so if you're around I'm standing here in this this living room area. I told you I heard footsteps. This sounds like a woman's footsteps. G H I J K L A B A A B C. Bulba. What? It's like his grandma. Okay. It's like his grandma. Oh my fuck. What? Who is it? Libby Goldock. Your grandma? It's my grandma. Oh, no way. <laughs> the one that said onward and upward that started a fucking everything. Everything. But when someone. When someone like that, like my grandma, there's it. no way they would have known her name. And she, she said, someone came here with us. Mm -hmm. so as if she I have a good makeup, makeup on, and I understand his fucking reaction because I have the same. <laughs> Fuck me with my grandpa, <laughs> grandpas. Well, grandpa and great. Granddad, a oh, fuck me and uh, another person who recently she passed because oh, of cancer. Fuck! I've got a good makeup. Stop! Uh. Stop! Ah! Uh. I'm fine. 
If that's that is what being an empath means. Oh. Ah, fuck me. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y. The little boy is there. I don't wonder what's watching him. He's just like watching him. He's like, why is he crying? His his grandma loves him. <sighs> I'm not weak. Fuck. I will not be crying publicly. Stop. Motherfucker. Uh, Frank Brock. Frank Brock. Frank Brock. A B C D E F G H R J K L M N O P Q R S T. I'm getting like a great, great, great something from his, oh, it's like his dad's side. Tell Lee that Frank and Elizabeth are okay. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it. Thank you. Are you going to text him? Well, I just wrote this down, so obviously we're, we're filming this, but like, <laughs> I think Elizabeth and Frank are my great-grandparents and my dad's grandparents because when i i was doing some ancestry.com and i think i know frank brock but i never met him okay so that was very 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 cool i love that and um yes like i said earlier they have the same exact you could say frequency i don't like using the word frequency because if you go on my like manifestation channel, I'm all about, like oh, frequency. I I don't like using the word frequency, but it's the best way I can describe it. They vibe. Ah, <laughs> they vibe in the same frequency. They were part of the same thing. I don't know how it's called. Like the same atom you could say that it got got divided and then they brought each other together again so when this stuff happens i've said before on this channel that we are all born with these innate gifts like the spiritual gifts that we can hear feel see everything but it's getting taught out of us but then the more you practice it, the easier it is for you to be more in tune with it. So when something that they have is so raw that it has been, there is no chance of it being taught out of it because it's the raw power, you could say. That's what happens when the same thing gets brought back together, whether you've been taught out of it or whatever, you cannot help the stuff that's coming out because this is so... That connection is so fucking powerful. And that is why <clears throat> my best friend and I, the connection that we have, even if she's um, in UK, she's in Germany, the connection that we have is so powerful that everything that i'm going through she's going through everything she's going through i'm going through we go through the same exact thought process even if we haven't said that to each other we're going through the same exact mental struggles even if we haven't said to each other we're going through the same exact conversations with deities or like other people that we haven't told each other yes she's a witch yes she's she's in tune like i am but the same happens with them even if they're not like like i say psychics it's that power that is in you everyone has it i i cannot stress to you enough everyone has it and the fact that they came together brought it to the surface 
And it's good that they're both so open-minded that they're like, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, you can't debunk it because there's nothing for you to debunk. This is an actual thing. So, needless to say, I love Cody and Satori. They're so cute together. They were literally made for each other. And if they break up, the world will come to pieces. This is such a rare connection to have with someone. And if they break up, I don't care, I'm gonna do a fucking spell to get them back together. I barely know them, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay? Uh, the fact that with... Let's touch on the empath thing of it, because you saw me getting emotional. That's what it's like being an empath. You tune into the other person's or spirit's emotions. You can feel it, you can actually like, it's like you are them. You are experiencing the thing like you are them. So I was experiencing the thing that Tom was going through because I, for that moment, I was him. It's, everyone's just like, oh yeah, 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 I'm an empath, I'm a, but I won't say like you're not truly an empath, nye, nye, nye. but you won't fully understand what it's like being an empath until you go through stuff like that with people you don't know that you're just like for some reason you get connected to their emotions and to their like emotional turmoil. It's hard. It was just like, yeah, I'm an empath, like, such a good thing. When they, when people like that, like, brag, like, how they're an empath, I know they don't truly understand what it's like being an empath. Same with bragging about being a witch or, like, clairaudient or clairvoyant. It's not always a good thing. I mean, I have talks about it on my, um, witchcraft Wednesdays. It's not always the best thing because sometimes you cannot find the boundary between you and that something else. It's not easy for you to stop. So yeah, if you want to know what it's like being an empath, clairvoyant or clairaudient or clairsentient, that's what it's like. But, but yeah, yeah, that's what it's like. It's it's not easy it's not fucking easy because sometimes you will hear feel and uh see things that you're not ready to see or you don't want to see and it's not fucking easy for either one you know it's not easy for the person who hears it to have to transfer that to um the person who is the receiver of the message it's not easy for example i went to the graveyard right i wanted to grab some graveyard dirt and talk with some spirits to help me with a curse and <laughs> seeing what that person went through in her life and feeling her emotions even though that was in the like 1600s a fucking child got murdered and her limbs were sent to her could you understand that i had to see that and to feel that <sighs> so everyone who brags about being all that i just don't think they have tuned it enough or they have seen those stuff, they have heard this stuff and <sighs> sometimes you wish you would turn that off. But like I said on um that video, it's like second nature. You cannot help it. It's it's happening without your control. 
And if I'm, it's it's good. It's good. The fucking thing is good, and obviously there is no like much of an investigation so far. But there were good points for conversation, and if you have more questions about about it, comment them down below or in the Google Forms forms docs that I have made. And I will reply to them in a video form. Um, most probably for Witchcraft Wednesdays. So if you want to see your question answered, then make sure you hit the subscribe and bell icon. We'll see when I upload that. But please be patient with me. I'm a one person, so making three different series onto here and two different ones on another channel. So be patient with me, okay? But other than that, be good, don't be stupid, and I will see you tomorrow for Witchcraft Wednesdays. Bye!